So all of algebra is like this major megaphone that is just shouting out, there is a faithful, consistent creator God who is governing all things and you can trust him. And this program is really showing the child that step by step. And so their problems rather than like just all these meaningless X's and Y's and A's and B's, they're solving real life problems. They're seeing how the concepts they're learning apply. And so it's a full color textbook and it really just allows students to see what they're learning in action. So, so like they're seeing it in action and they're seeing that those real life relationships that we observe all around us are there because God is the one who created such an amazingly consistent universe. Now, you also, in the last year, have worked on, you've probably been working on it for a couple of years, uh, but the Algebra 2 that is being released and, and coming out through Masterbooks. Um, now, that is a huge project. We had one designer working 40 hours a week on that project for over a year. And, and I know we've had, um, we've had peer review on that. Uh, you've done your own review. You've had... Um, your husband as well has reviewed the project and his, his background is mathematics. So he has a doctorate from MIT. Um, it's in some field of science. It's a, it's a <laughs> sciencey type field. He's a data scientist now, but, um, so okay. it's not technically mathematics, but it's, it's a field that used a lot of, you know, okay. But he's reviewed as well. and uh, Yeah, he actually co-authored it with me. So he, we'd sit down and he'd come up with outlines and things that needed covered. And then we would talk and, you know, figure it out. And then he would go over it and I'd ask him questions all along the way. And so, yes, it was a, it was a together project. Although okay. I did most of the actual writing. He was definitely involved all the way. Yeah. So there's been a lot of people working on this project because I know we've also had the editorial team um, and different people evaluating it. We ran it through a beta test team to to see how they you know, could open it up, how well the material was presented. Uh, so far, we've had just really great reviews on it. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the heart behind the Algebra 2 project? Sure. Um, so... I, you know, a lot of kids get to algebra and they're left going, why these X's and Y's, right? And um, I'm just really excited about this program because it's going to answer that why question and really show students step by step why they're learning what they're learning and how all of it is proclaiming God's praises. And, you know, the, the graphic designer did an amazing job, like putting in all these visuals. So it's a full color textbook. And it really just allows students to see what they're learning in action. So they learn about, um, you know, all different parts of God's creation while they're covering math. So they look at our cells and how our cells have the perfect ratio of surface area to volume. They look at gravity. They look at, um, you know, real life examples in business and all sorts of different industries. They look at you know, the quadratic formula. They're not just left memorizing this formula that appears to go nowhere. They're shown how it applies and how it helps us solve real life problems. They, when they look at systems of inequalities, they're looking at, um, they have an example of the energy required to stretch a string based on its distance. So like they're seeing it in action and they're seeing that those real life relationships that we observe all around us are there because God is the one who created such an amazingly consistent universe. And so the whole reason why we can use letters, those letters are just placeholders to stand for relationships. So like the distance you travel equals the speed times the time, right? Well, instead of writing out distance, speed, and time, you can just use D and S and T or Y and M and X or whatever letters you wanted to, to stand for those things. And, and that relationship always holds true because of the consistent way God governs creation. And then we can work with that relationship on paper, even though we don't know the actual values we're dealing with, because we know that addition operates consistently and subtraction operates consistently and multiplication and division and equality. So we're building on what we learned in arithmetic and we're seeing, hey, 
we can we can still rely on this even if we don't know the exact values because of how faithful God is. So all of algebra is like this major megaphone that is just shouting out, there is a faithful, consistent creator God who is governing all things and you can trust him. And this program is really showing the child that step by step. And so there are problems rather than like just all these meaningless X's and Y's and A's and B's, they're solving real life problems. They're seeing how the concepts they're learning apply and they're getting to do it. They're not just being told, hey, this applies, go learn it, where they're they're frustrated, but they're really, they're seeing a purpose to it. And it, having that purpose, I believe will make such a difference in really understanding the concept too. You know, if you were to try to teach your child how to cook without ever letting them into a kitchen, they're gonna think they hate cooking. <laughs> but right. they can reflect, right? And there are so many children and adults out there that think they hate math. And it's really that they never were taught how to actually use math apart from solving numbers on a paper. And if you're not the kind of person who, you know, some people just make that connection, but if you're not the kind that instantly just makes that connection, you're left going, this is meaningless. You know, why am I doing this? Mm -hmm. And so this, this curriculum will really answer that question of why. And I, it's my prayer. It'll really build their faith every step along the way as well. Now, this project has the student book, which is like the student textbook. Mm -hmm. It has a teacher guide, which would have the student activities, quizzes, tests. And then there is a solutions manual. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, okay. and the solutions manual was like a huge project in and of itself, because I knew that at the Algebra 2 level, you know, a lot of parents might not really be comfortable with the subject matter themselves. And so I really wanted the program to not confuse anybody and not leave parents and kids going, ah, what are, you know, what are we doing here? And so I tried in the solution manual to put in a lot of notes that would explain, this is why we did this, this is why we did that. And, and not just even show the steps, but explain the steps um, where necessary to really make sure that they understood why the solution was obtained. So it's a, it's very different than any solution manual I've ever seen in that it really tries to kind of guide through how okay. that was shown. So for parents who would be very nervous to take an Algebra 2 course, mm -hmm. uh, or even students, you also created courses to supplement at Master Books Academy for the Algebra 2. Yeah. And so those courses are already available and will be going live as soon as the book is in stock. Um, anything that you would want people to know about the, the courses in the academy? Well, the courses in the academy will just make it, um, you know, super simple. The, the child sits down, they watch the lesson, and then they can work their worksheet using their student textbook as like a reference um, as they go through it. And so it, ta it, it allows me to demonstrate using animated slides and, and writing on the screen for them step by step what's going on, uh, which can eliminate, you know, if you have a child who's not naturally someone who can look at a book and get get the concept, it it can make that connection really easily. Okay. For them. Um, you know, also provides that auditory connection as well. Um, so I highly recommend the, you know, if, if, if the thought of algebra is at all scary, I would highly recommend just doing the course. We've had heard great feedback from the other courses that we've done. And I, I just feel like this will, it's similar layout as to like the principles of mathematics course that, that has been up there um, for, for students to be able to go through and do. Okay. Well, I think one of your strengths is being able to um, teach complex subjects uh, in a way that you can understand easily. And I know one of my sons is going through the principles of math right now, and we also have the academy course. He doesn't use it for everyone because he gets a lot in the books, but every now and then we come across a place where he just gets hung up. And um, it's it's so nice to be able to have kind of a help like that, even to be able to pull it up and just help kind of walk through, here's what I'm trying to teach you in this chapter and uh, a real benefit. So, okay, for those of us like me who aren't really mathematically minded, mm -hmm. We've got algebra, usually ninth grade would be algebra. So for, for principles of math, one and two would be seventh and eighth grade together. It would be a pre-algebra. Uh, we do have some families who will actually do the pre-algebra in ninth grade if a student is struggling or coming in from another program. Then they would transition to algebra, which typically would be a ninth grade set. 
what do you recommend next? Would it be the geometry or the algebra two? So you can go either way with it. I think um, a lot of people do the geometry next and then go back to algebra two. Uh, we, when we wrote principles of algebra two, we made sure that it would work if you came straight from algebra one as well. So you could go either way with that. Um, I guess the one advantage of doing geometry and then algebra two would be you then have your algebra like right before if you're planning on taking the SAT or you know just kind of depending on what grade you actually end up in there because grade levels are you know they're 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 what they are but people are ready to study concepts at different places you know so I would say um, it, it could be that you're doing algebra two in 12th grade and that's okay you know like you just have to work it through with what works for your child um, but you can really go either way with it you could do the geometry in between, or you could do algebra two first and then do the geometry after that. You just might need to review a little bit of algebra before you did sit for an SAT if you were doing that after the geometry year. Okay. Now, some people will will also talk about like algebra two with trigonometry, or they'll they'll throw in additional. How would this rank with that? So when they're finished algebra two, they would be ready for like a trigonometry or pre-calculus type course. Okay. Um, it touches on trigonometry, but it's not a, a trigonometry course in and of itself. Okay. So a lot of, you know, a lot of students will stop after algebra two, but if they're going to go on into math, then they can, can move into those. Some students will dual enroll in a college course at that point so that they are getting college credit for the upper level math. Um, but they'll, they should be ready after the algebra two for, you know, either college algebra or, um, a trigonometry precalculus course. If okay. They're in the direction. okay. Okay. Perfect. Well, we're excited about that project coming out. I think um, I know that was an extreme labor uh, of love for you to do for the homeschool community, and we really are blessed to have it and offer it. And I look forward to getting that in the kids' hands. Um, can I can I say one more thing about yeah. the videos that I, I neglected to say? So if you have a student who is not a avid reader and doesn't enjoy a lot of reading. That would be another reason to go ahead and get the video supplement because it will okay. minimize the reading that's involved in the program. Because of trying to show math in action and you know real life examples, those real life examples need set up sometimes. So there is more reading than in some math curriculum. Gotcha. So if that's an issue for your student, the e-course is the, you know, the way to go with that.